for the introduction. So, for all the ministers here, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Syrians, this is my first time in Iowa. I'm excited to be here, and um, we are here as part of our program, part of the Big Five Beats Radio, and in search of uh, solutions to of uh, food security, insecurity, we are here to look at what is happening, especially in the area of agriculture. But for Syria, Leone in particular, under my leadership, there's quite a lot to talk about. So I don't even know where to begin. But as Syria Leonians, we should be proud that we have a, an administration that has taken the country from nowhere to where we are today. And where is nowhere? The government we inherited, as you very well know, was in austerity. I didn't say it. Those who led it said, said it. So we inherited nothing. And within seven months, we were able to get back into program with the IMF because of our performance. And five years later, we were not only part of the Security Council, which was entirely strange. The last time we were there was over 50 years ago. This is what we have done to change the image, to make you guys be proud of your country again. It didn't happen in a vacuum. It took so many things. The first lady was talking about a few things that we have done, especially in uh, virtually every walk of life within uh, government. A raft of bills have been passed through, uh, through Parliament to lay this foundation. You remember when we started, it was education, human capital development, because as a government, we identify the human being as the most precious, not as most of us think that it is the diamond, the gold, and the thing, and the other things. For me, the most precious, the most important resource that we have in that country is the, the, the human being. And to make the human being useful in the 21st century, you must invest in that human being. And the only investment is education. We were once a powerful nation when it came to knowledge formation and uh, distribution. We got the first university uh, south of the Sahara um, um, in, in Africa uh, in, uh, from 20, 20, uh, 1827. The first Western University was established in Sierra Leone. And nearly 200 years later, there was nothing to write home about. We had lost everything. We had squandered every opportunity. Our great Fulbe College could hardly stand up to its name. I thought about it and decided that we must revamp education. And that is what we have done. We laid a solid foundation. And it is left to all of us now to give it the boost it needs to again come back to its former glory. When we took over, I mean, the kids were hardly going to school. They went to school, cheated at most of the exams. We've had to clean up. We've had to uh, declare, I mean, um, bring in free quality. Free quality meaning that we realized that kids we have been, we are dropping out of school or not being able to go to school because they cannot afford, their parents could not afford a simple $20 per year. In the 21st century, that is an indictment to our conscience, to all of us, that there are people who could. So, it, I mean, inheriting nothing in the treasury, and taking that bold step to make sure that every child in the country can go to school was an audacious move. But it was necessary. Education is existential. And we decided to do that not because we had the funds, but because we know that with that in mind, we'll be able to attract other good people. 
And indeed, we have been able to do that successfully for the past six years. Over one million kids were able to go to school. Now we pay their transition fees. Before, kids will attend up to uh, uh, six, grade six, and after that, they are not able to pay the little transition exam fees or to for do their beke um, uh, or to do their uh, uh, um, was they wouldn't they would drop out government decided not only to make access free for every child but to pay all of these transition um, um, uh, fees was that on our manifesto no Just to do that it was on our manifesto to provide free access to every child. But we realized that many other obstacles in addition to free access. So we decided kids will go to school and they will not have core textbooks. The teachers did not have a curriculum. There was no curriculum. In, in, in fact, there was no curriculum department in the, in the Ministry of Education. That is how bad it was. So sometimes people say, oh, they've been here for five, six years and they've not achieved anything. We have had to go back to the basics, as if we had just attained independence. Or well, even at independence, there was. Yes, you got a British level at least, which you give the curriculum to follow. So a lot of things had gone bad. So most of what we have had to do in the past is to lay the foundation. That is why it is difficult, but even with that, imagine, ladies and gentlemen, we have had to do this against the backdrop of COVID-19 that closed down the whole world, killed millions of hundreds of millions of people. In Sierra Leone, we had only up, uh, about 185 deaths as a result of COVID. We stood up our system and we were able to prevent uh, our COVID deaths. We were able to carry on all of this, as you know, the, the other challenges, uh, the problems in, in the Russia, in the Ukraine, supply chain disruption. Imagine taking over a government and there is nothing in the kitty, and as you want to make more, you are going against this sort of strong headwind because of so many exogenous shocks that the tremor of which we have to deal with. So we have been working hard just to make sure that we keep our promise. Sometimes people say, oh me, I, I'm not getting job, I'm not getting work. You know, I know that the economy has to expand. We have to grow the economy for it to take in people. But that is not done overnight. We keep working, but then we all around the world, as we can see, we've had serious challenges, the lingering effects of COVID-19. Um, inflation has been per uh, uh, persistent. We are breaking that down. There was instability in the exchange rate. We are, and that is under control. This is as a result of commitment. Today, we moved, uh, you know, uh, in August, I was at the National Security Council and to cheer the Security Council as the premier uh, body responsible for security and peace around the world. How did we get there? A country that was once a subject, just 10 years ago, we were a subject of the Security Council. We've had to clean up our image. We didn't get there by, uh, by chance. We've had to do quite a lot to, to get there and to be recognized by the world and to be elected by nothing less than 198 member states to be elected. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm saying all of this not just because these are our achievements and I should talk about it, but that we are making progress. We have reduced maternal mortality by 60%. We have removed the, uh, the death penalty in our law books. 
It's no longer part of us. The seditious life and all, which everybody was afraid to, to tackle, we have tackled that. Why? Because we want to free our society. I am not afraid of criticism. I am a human being, the handiwork of God, and I make mistakes every day. So, if you tell me in a polite way, I accept, and I'm ready to change. So, the sedition fly the law. Every government since independence was afraid to touch that. For me, I've removed it. And the world has not come collapsing. We are still going. <laughs> support. I think um, the, um, the again, I, don't, I think it was the first lady who spoke about cohesion. We are often divided by politics. I know politics div divides. It is very divisive, especially we have APC, we have SNPP here, but we are Cyrillians. Let's make Sierra Leone fit for purpose. Let's make Sierra Leone a better place for APC, SNPP, and all the other parties. <laughs> when Sierra Leone is good, when Sierra Leone is so, um, a period, this is a golden period in the history of our country, to be recognized. I was recognized by the UN Security uh, Secretary General to champion education in the world. And I quote here, the Transform Education at the United Nations with the Secretary General. That is no mean task. We did all of that within five years. Today, we've been talking about um, um, the MCC. The MCC is an American uh, um, uh, organization that gives um, from time to time when you deserve it and you prove that uh, you can earn it they will give some amount of money, it's not definite it's been going on since 2000 our government, previous governments had not won it and within three years we got the compact Why am I saying this again? Because a lot of people think we are just um, ramping up our praises or trying to arrogate so much things to ourselves. No, this is an independent body. They said you have invested so much in your people. Good governance. You are, you are fighting corruption. You have moved uh, 21 spaces, spaces on the uh, 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 corruption index. These are all things that have been bringing us down. The only things we are known for, for corruption, yes, we are among the, the first or second in the world. Maternal mortality rate, a woman who, was, who is pregnant in Sierra Leone before today was almost 50% dead. We cannot accept that. We have tackled these challenges in the face of some of the most difficult international uh, situations. This is what we are doing. We are not done with education. We are not out of the woods as far as education is concerned, ladies and gentlemen. What I have done is to try to inspire this generation of Sierra Leoneans that we must go back and make, lay down a solid foundation for our education system so that it can regain its glory when it was considered to be first among equals. That is what we have to do. Our certificates should be accepted anywhere around the world. We are not done with that yet. But you can, if you go and look at the quality of the results that the kids are getting, much better. Much better. And the numbers that are going to the universities and higher education, much higher. Jump from about 36,000 to 115,000 kids going to school. Very good results. Women uh, doing uh, um, 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 the sciences because of our, of our STEM um, our policy. For the first time in nearly 200 years history of the Fruby College, we had the highest number of, uh, of women 
going to do engineering. These are important things to note that in as much as we are going through a very difficult patch as a country, we are making progress. And we should accelerate that progress. And it takes not just a, a man or one administration, it takes so many decades of consistent work. That is what we have to... A lot of people think um, a development takes place overnight. Rome was not built in a day. Never. The great United States have been working on this great state for a very long time. So it takes us, our energy, all of us, to work together. The expertise, the connections, the networks that we have here, our civil unions, bring all of that together to bring to bear on our situation in Sierra Leone. I don't claim monopoly to make Sierra Leone. But I've taken up the challenge because of out of audacity, I believe I have a good mind for my country. I have a very clear mind. And that is, as a patriotic citizen, I want to see Sierra Leone. I want to be proud of my country. I want to stand anywhere. I want you to stand anywhere and say I'm a Sierra Leone. That is a huge project that I cannot accomplish. I have only four more years. Which means, if we have to continue to be a relevant international actor, if we have to continue to deliver for our people, then we have to have another generation of people who are more than what I am in terms of my patriotism, in terms of what it takes, in terms of the, the, the compassion that you should have for your countrymen, love and compassion, and put all of that out to be able to move out of the narrative of war, the narrative of hacking of names, blood diamond, uh, um, 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 Ebola, corruption. Let's make that a great thing of the past. So that is why I said it would be very difficult to really frame what I want to say. I'm just speaking from everywhere, the literal cat. But maybe um, if um, when we come to the uh, question and answers uh, session, uh, luckily I have a few ministers. If the question is too difficult for me, it's, it's very easy to it's very easy to balance. That's how. Um, MRC, you don't see the question too difficult uh, for balance. <laughs> so, um, for me, it's always an honor and a delight to engage Sierra Leone because some of you will love to be there when you're not there. <laughs>